is a size that is a 6 millimeter by 1.0, which is the thread. And the 1.0 references how many of these threads are in an inch. So that's whether they're a fine thread or a coarse thread hole. Along with that, you'll have a depth that you'll need. In order to have the depth that you need, the bolt, this particular original one, has a washer on it. And as you can see, if you put it up through the hole that it goes in, it's got probably 3 eighths to a half inch of threads available to go up in this hole to have strength. So you want the new bolt to be similar. If the new bolt was too short, it might only have a couple of threads. It wouldn't bite good. If it was too long, it would bottom out in the hole and not tighten up good. So you, you measure up the new bolt to the old bolt, get the right size bolt, and then we're going to install washer on the new one so that it will match up with the old one and be good to go. Okay, Dwayne has previously indicated of the two holes, we have a good one over here, a stripped out one over here. So we've already drilled it and removed the bolt that was broke off up in the hole, and now we're going to drill it for the proper sizing of the helicoil according to the specifications it asked for on here. In some applications, you would want to drill this with a drill like this, but in this particular situation, this part of the manifold is wrapped through some more of the wiring harness down here. So in order not to have to remove all that and take it out on the bench and use a drill that's not wanting to line up with the hole, we're going to use a smaller drill called an angle head drill. As you can see, the clearance is obviously an advantage with an angle headed drill. I've got a quarter inch drill bit in here to drill this hole to use for the sizing of the tap for the helicoil. So with a kit like this, you get the size that you need, it references what size drill bit you're going to need. Depending on the kit, you might need to flip it over, remove the back cover off of it. <clears throat> Quite often there will be an instructional kit in here to help you with some of the process if you're not familiar with it. With this particular kit, metric six by one, it indicates that you use a quarter inch drill bit to set up for the tool to tap this kit with. So we'll use a quarter inch drill bit to start this kit with. This tap comes with a square shouldered shank on it. They make sockets that'll fit your 3 8 drive on this end, depending on which size the application is. It slides up in here and it locks in and it is used to turn that square shank. So this is the tap that is a specific helicoil tap we're going to run up in that quarter inch drilled hole. Most of the time these taps, as you can see, were probably a good quarter inch plus up in the hole and we still have a lot of threads down through here so you won't find it necessary most of the time to bury and use all of this. What you'll do is as you're tapping up through there, you'll find it, it, it quite often will reach the depth of travel you need and it'll it'll start feeling a little more resistant to turn. With one of these, sometimes you'll get one of these shavings that you can see peeling out of here that'll buckle and that'll give you some resistance. But you can also feel it when it gets a little stiff because it's reached the end of its travel up in here. You want to be very careful with these not to apply very much torque on them because they will snap. If that snaps off up in the hole you have a real problem because this is hardened heat treated steel and uh, a drill bit won't want to drill that. So you never really want to crank on that with very much torque at all because it will snap these very easily. Nice. When you get done tapping that, there will be some shavings that fell out of here. There will be some shavings still in this hole. So if you want to take some brake parts cleaner and, and just gently blast that, That'll clean the rest of those threads out of there. So now that we've drilled the, the broken off bolt, got the broken off bolt out, we have drilled it for the size of the helicoil insert. We have tapped it for the insert. The next thing you would do is you would install this thread kit. For those of you that's not familiar with what this process is actually doing, originally this 6 millimeter by 1.0 bolt is what was in these two holes. This hole was an aluminum hole the size 
of this 6 millimeter by 1.0 bolt. The installing of the insert actually makes that probably a good third again stronger. And the reason for that is instead of a 6 millimeter bolt being up in aluminum, you end up, when you put this insert up in the drilled hole with the tool, you, you end up with a stainless steel thread that this steel bolt is going into a stainless steel threaded insert. When that goes up in that hole, then you've got what is probably pretty close to an 8 millimeter threaded piece up in the aluminum. So instead of having a 6 millimeter strength to pull that out of there, it'll now be an 8 millimeter with stainless steel threads. So if you do this install right, this is probably a good third again stronger than the original strength of the aluminum with that size bolt in it. This thread insert is a stainless steel coil of threaded on the inside, threaded on the outside, with a little tab on the end of it. This little tab has got a little indention right here in the corner of it. And the purpose of that is, is it's strong enough that when you install the tool to install this up inside, there's a lip on the end of this installer that goes around and catches this tab that sticks out. That lets this thing turn. After it's installed, that little tab will be hit with a punch from inside, a little smaller than this installer, and it will break that off at that little indention so that that can be gotten out of the way and it's no longer in there. So you install it on the installer first, then you put it up in this piece, and that lets you get started as a guide. So now we've installed the insert on the installer, installed the installer up into the holder, and now we got it basically roughly close to the edge of it, and then that's when you will go over to the hole that has been tapped and gently work this up into that hole. You work it up in there with your fingers until you get it started. Then you'll need a turner to turn that with. You want to work the, t the installer tool and the holder tool in combination so that you can get the threads installed up in there and the end result of that is you're going to want it to be about a half a thread deeper than your hole so that it's not out past the end. As you can see right there, it's got about a thread and a half still below it. So we'll take the holder out of the way and we'll continue turning this installer. Now as you can see, the last thread just brushed past the surface. So we're going to want to go about another half a turn. And when you've done that, then you can take the installer out and you will have about a half a thread before you get up into the helicoil stainless steel threads and that's that's about right for most applications about a half a thread now we'll have the <clears throat> little thing we referenced before that we'll have to punch in there to break that little tab off you'll take a punch that is sized just long enough and big enough to just just go up inside those threads and and then what you'll end up doing is you'll tap or push on that and it'll pop well, when it popped what it did was it broke that little half a loop with the, the indention on it that we referenced earlier now it's broke that off up in here and we'll need to blow that out so the end result of that once you got the insert up in the hole you run the punch up inside it just does go up inside of that and when you force that 
it pushes on that tab and that tab has an indention right there and it snaps that off right at that line so then this side will end up looking like this side. And as you can see now, <clears throat> both sides are threaded holes that this bolt is capable of going up in and being used for strength. Now this hole over here, the original one, is still good, so we're going to leave it. But the one that had the bolt break off in it, we installed the helicoil. It's got stainless steel threads in it. Helicoils come in different sizes, very small. We're leaving, using a pretty small, but they actually come in larger sizes. It's the same process either way. The real critical thing is make sure you drill your hole straight and use the install tool so that you can get that insert in there straight. This repair then will make it so that you can use the same hole, but it'll actually end up being a stronger hole than the original.